There's been quite a bit of discussion in the forums lately about toolkits. I've posted pictures of my kit a couple times and answered some questions. Um, figured I'd shoot this and give a walkthrough of what's carried. This is for a full expedition tour where I'm not expecting to have much support or the distances between support are more than I want to walk. I'm going to start at the top and we'll go clockwise. We have a Road Morph mini pump, pretty standard. This is a cobalt adjustable bit screwdriver handle. Around its waist is some heavy duty stainless steel bailing wire covered by a pretty good length of one inch wide Gorilla Tape. We have chain lube which can be used for more than chains. Very small set of vice grips, quite handy. A small Cabela's multi-tool with a flashlight. Um, I'm hoping to replace this with a Leatherman Wave soon. The little flashlight on it is useless and it's kind of too small and I might be able to get rid of a few other things by getting a Leatherman. To the left of that is a set of SRAM power links and a length of chain should I need to replace a section. We have a fiber fix spoke, bottom bracket, and cassette tool. I don't carry a large wrench to attach to them, figuring I can bum one at a garage or even a homeowner. It's just a standard one inch wrench. And I'll use a big block of wood or some kind of lever to hold the cassette in place if it comes to that. At the bottom is the bag that everything goes into except for the tubes. Two spare tubes. I leave them in the box, tape the edges of the box with some of that fiber tape, packing tape, and they stand up really well to getting banged around. I've never had a tube come out damaged. They don't take up a heck of a lot more room in the box than they do just uh, elastic into a bunch. There are two razor blades here. One of them is a standard metal one. The other side is a very, very hard plastic one. These are used in the furniture industry as scrapers. Uh, they're great for like popping open iPhones or popping open the case on my phone, for instance, or scraping on things that you don't want uh, to use metal on to scrape into. Fantastic woodworking tool repurposed for this. We have a length of two millimeter paracord, just in case. Might be one and a half, I forget. A piece of a Tyvek envelope to use as a tire boot if needed. This is just a... Um, large Tyvek envelope that's been sliced open and turned into a sheet and then re-rolled. This is a length of thread. I used a sewing machine bobbin for my sewing machine and loaded some heavy duty upholstery thread onto it and then capped the two ends with some gaffer's tape just to hold the loose threads in place. When I want to use it I just peel off one of the pieces of tape and I've got the end. This is much smaller than carrying the entire spool. We have safety pins and a heavy duty needle. Some Sugru, which is an air cure rubber. If you're not sure what that is or how useful it is, you're missing out on an amazing thing. Uh, look up Sugru or go to sugru.com. Uh, great, great stuff. I use it all the time. This is the tube for the sewing kit. It also has my mattress repair kit, which is a tube of glue and the patch for my Big Agnes insulated air core. There's about 10 blue latex gloves just stuffed into a tube sealed with some a length of gaffer's tape. This is small parts, rack screws, nuts, lock washes, etc. and a tube of Loctite. Above that we have a, uh, an O-ring. This is used to, for a specialty box I have that's part of the charging system from the Dynamo to the USB system. It's held on to the top tube of the bike with a um, with, a, with just a standard O-ring, so I carry a spare just in case they weigh nothing. And if I break that, it's a pain in the butt. I'd have to tape it in place or something just to soon carry this. This is just a standard Rima Touring O2 kit. It's a double kit. There are 16 small patches, three of the large patches, two 5-gram tubes of glue, 
in one of these new sand papers, which is much thicker than the old stuff and it has like a rubber backing on it. Very cool stuff. I've never seen that before. I like it. And a small Presta Schrader adapter. I have one on the wheel itself on the bike, but I carry a spare. All of this goes into the standard Rima package. Set of park tools, tire irons, a hundred millimeter Craftsman adjustable, a Crank Brothers multi-tool. This is the M17. It weighs uh, 0.38 pounds. I bought it to eliminate a few pieces and consolidate it down. Essentially what that did is it replaced all of this. I got rid of my spoke wrench, my breaker, and a Park Tools um, IV, IV1 and replaced it with the Crank Brothers. I saved minimal weight. I think that's 0.4. This is 0.38. But it's a simpler process. I have two two less pieces, the track and the bag. Below that is a 1516 Park Tools wrench. I need a thin 15 to adjust the Paul Engineering brakes. It also fits my pedals. Below that is an 8mm wrench for the rack screws, just because I'm not confident I can get into some of them with the 8mm wrench on the Crank Brothers. This is an ignition wrench. It's smaller than a standard Craftsman wrench and comes as part of an ignition set. It's thinner, it's lighter, but it'll certainly do the job. It has open end and box end on it. There are two bits for the cobalt handle, standard and a Phillips. Once I get the leather, I'll dump those in probably this cobalt handle since I'll have a screwdrivers on the Leatherman and I've also got them on the Crank Brothers. So I'll probably eliminate this handle. There's a P38 can opener. You never know if you're going to need that. And a pair of Fiskars heavy duty shears. These are great shears. They cut just about anything. I have multiple pairs of them stashed in all my junk drawers in my desk. Um, they can cut thin tissue paper and they can cut light sheet metal. They're just an amazing uh, pair of shears and I've decided that they're worth carrying. On the top left corner I missed on the way around is a light bulb to power adapter. That's carried so that if I get some place where there's a light bulb but there's no outlet to plug in if I need to charge or something I can create myself an outlet. Weighs nearly nothing, and it's a great way of uh, using a bedside light as a power port. I don't know if I missed anything else in here, but that's the kit in a nutshell. The fiber fix spoke, I'm not sure if I com commented on. Fairly standard for people to carry. Um, at the bottom, oh, I did miss. At the bottom, there's some big zip ties, three spare spokes. They don't fit in the spoke holder on the long haul trucker since I have deep dish wheels. So the spokes are a little bit shorter and they're just short enough that I can't put them on the left, uh, the left chainstay holder. They just don't fit. The aluminum tube is from Big Agnes. It's a tent repair sleeve. I just carry it because it keeps all of this stuff bundled together nicely. And again, it weighs almost nothing. That's it.